Hey everybody, it's Cassidy here with Hutcher University. Today I have Mac here with me. He's a nine-year-old quarter horse. He just came to the Hutcher program not too long ago. He does TR lessons and he's working hard to work into hippotherapy lessons. So this episode is going to be over grooming tools. So when we're grooming our horses, we always make sure that we groom our horses before they go out for lessons, before they get saddled up. We always wanna make sure that we get from the shoulder, the chest, the back, all the way back to the hip. And especially underneath where the girth runs. And if we, we wanna make sure that our hands are always rubbing against to see if there's any extra dirt that we might have missed. And if there is, we wanna make sure we get it. If there is any um, dirt under the saddle or the girth that rubs the wrong, that rubs the horse the wrong way and it makes them irritated and then we have an unhappy horse and we never want that. The first brush we use is called the curry comb. We use this brush in circular motions like this. We start at the shoulder, work back to the back, and go back all the way to the hips. And we always go under where the girth lies to make sure there's no dirt under there as well. The main purpose for this brush is in when we do our circular motions, it brings up the dirt and the dust from underneath the coat and the skin and brings it to the surface for the next step. We do this motion like this, always starting on the left side and working our way to the right side. The next brush I have is the hard brush. The hard brush is used to bring up all the, to take the dirt and sweep it away after you've brought it up with the curry comb. So we do this brush in a sweep and flick motion, all down, starting at the shoulder, going from the back, moving all the way back to the hip. When we do this, we always wanna make sure we avoid this area right here, which is called the flank. Super sensitive spot for horses. It's kind of like a ticklish spot if you were to be grabbed on the hip. Nobody likes that. So we always want to make sure we avoid that area, but we're grooming everything that else needs to be groomed. The third brush that I have is called the soft brush. So with this soft brush, what it does is it may remove the last bit of dirt that was left over from the hard brush, but its main purpose is to <laughs> is to shine up the coat at the end to make their coat nice and shiny and bring out the gloss. So same thing with the like what we did with the hard brush. It's a swift, it's a sweep and flick motion, and we do the same spots again: the shoulder, the back, and the hips, avoiding the flank always. The last grooming tool is the hoof pick. So this is what a lot of our hoof picks look like. You may see a little brush at the end, but we always use this side. So what you'll do is you run your hand down the horse's leg. They're usually really good about lifting their leg for you. And you just pick away like this and you want to get the grooves cleaned and the sole cleaned. And that's what a clean hoof is going to look like. Thank you for watching this episode on Hatcher University about grooming. Um, don't forget to like and comment our videos. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to see so we can make more videos.